Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment, it's Marvin speaking. Um, I was listening to Michel After Dark, uh, who's covering the lady um, who is missing Victoria Taylor. And uh, it's been over, what, 10 days now, I think? Yeah, 10, 11 days. And it's so sad that she's not yet been found. And so I'm just going to go into the police statement. I am paying catch up on the case because obviously um, a lot of my um, videos are on the Jay Slater case as we're still looking for justice for him. But I was listening to Michelle After Dark. She's brilliant. She um, covered the Nicola Bully case um, as well and was right about um, what she was actually, actually saying. But there were a lot of theories in that case. And a lot of, um, a lot of those theories... And what people questioned have still not been answered. But I, what I see in this one, I do actually think um, that she's in the water. And I'll probably go along with what Michelle, after dark, um, has said as she's been following this case from day one. We've made every effort to find her. Previous releases of information made by North Yorkshire Police highlight the scale of inquiries undertaken to date. And I would like to reiterate that based on the current information, no indication of any form of third party involvement has been established and we're still treating this as a missing person inquiry. Thank you for attending today as we continue to search for 34 year old Victoria Taylor, who is known locally as Vix. She's still missing from her home in the Norton area of Moulton. I'm here today to provide an update to the local community on the police response to finding Victoria. But firstly, I want to acknowledge the unimaginable level of distress that Victoria's family are going through following her disappearance nine days ago. We have put specialist officers in place to link in directly with the family and provide them with support and keep them updated with our strategy and any developments. The family are supportive of the police response and we are working together in our efforts to find Victoria. Victoria left her home at 9am on Monday the 30th of September. She was then seen on CCTV at 11.35am at the BP garage on Welland Road. That's in Norton. She's then purchased several items and we've further confirmed a sighting of Victoria which was captured at 11.53am on the Monday at Moulton bus station which is on Railway Street. Victoria is seen to be carrying a bag which we believe contained the items that were purchased at the BP garage. Additional witness evidence supports the fact that, we, that Victoria did not enter the station and we have no reason to believe that she's used transport at that time, public transport. In the last 24 hours, we've also recovered further CCTV footage, which shows Victoria walking towards the play park on Riverside Walk. This was at 12.30 p.m. Various items that belong to Victoria have been recovered from this location. Since receiving the initial report of Victoria going missing, we've made every effort to find her. Previous releases of information made by North Yorkshire Police highlight the scale of inquiries undertaken to date. And I would like to reiterate that based on the current information, no indication of any form of third party involvement has been established and we're still treating this as a missing person inquiry. As with any investigation, we are very open minded and will continue to explore all lines of inquiry. Based on the discovery of Victoria's belongings so close to the water's edge, we must accept the significant possibility that Victoria has entered the River Derwent. Searches are currently underway, um, taking place in the river, and those searches have been taking place above and below the water surface. The team are using specialist sonar equipment which gives officers a, a view below the surface. This search is slow and complex, and the team are working methodically in very difficult conditions. The use of this specialist resource will continue in the coming days, and we are very much supported by this work on a national level. 
Um, that was some of the statement by the police woman there. Um, I was listening to Michelle. She's done a 20 minute, just over 20 minute video um, on this. And she said some of that water can be five meters deep, about 17 um, foot or so, which is just absolutely um, really deep and unbelievable. I just think that um, in my thoughts looking into this case, I know a lot of people are covering, um, are covering it. To be honest, I had to play catch up today, but I think um, the number one person on this is Michelle After Dark. She just um, got brilliant theories and a, 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 a brilliant analysis um, on rivers, um, flows, and just different things at the end of the day, because I know that she lives near the country or something, because she's always walking her dogs, and she was on the Nicola Bully case as well. I do, I don't like to say it, but I do think she's actually um, in that water, and sometimes um, for uh, you know a body to actually come up, it could take maybe between two and four weeks for it to done float again, but I hope she's not in there, you know, because she's got a two year old, she's got a fiance, she sounds like she's got a beautiful family as well and it's such a shame. So I hope she is um, found alive. But, um, you know, her stuff, you know, a bag of what drinks and food and what never been very close um, to the river is very, very worrying. But I hope to God that she is found soon. Let me know your points and what you think, uh, people, uh, on this case. I know so many people um, are covering it and to be honest, I thought I'm just going to sit back because I, I just wanted to know whether there was any third party involved in this, but it, it doesn't look like there is. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment. And obviously, if anyone gets any updates or um, I'll put an update if any news comes through. Thank you very much indeed, wherever you are in the world and have a lovely, lovely weekend.